Hello everybody, welcome back. Um, so, as you see, I'm out playing my first video I did in a long time. We're going to be doing a tutorial for the Flight Factor 777. It's not the best aircraft, but I want to try to make this the short, shortest tutorial for this airplane as possible. So, without further ado, let's just get on with it. Okay, so here's the flight deck. This is a texture mod, and I'm also using the um, BSS sound pack. It's pretty good, highly recommend it. So the first thing you want to do on this item on this checklist is open the doors. So doors, man, open this door. GP1 and 2, fuel truck, chocks. That's what you want to do. Now you want to load your fuel, load your cargo weights. So our cargo weight is 26.6, so 26.600. Let's just say the APU time is going to be 10 minutes. It's asking you that because the... um. APU time, APU takes fuel. And then taxi time may be 10 minutes at least since this airport's pretty short. And for the takeoff fuel, it's going to be 27.6. So let's do add a bit and do 28. And then we're going to press load fuel. Let's turn off real time so it loads faster. I cannot do it now. Okay, so the first thing you want to do, or the second thing, sorry. I have a checklist I made, so I'm going to be using this checklist for this tutorial today. So, battery on, bus ties on, external power on, backup generators on. That is for when you turn on the engines, the generators will be on. Thrust and then ADR, which aligns the IRSs. Window heat on, hydraulic pumps on, like this. Oh, sorry. Just like that. Passenger signs to auto. Cockpit lights. Uh, it's fine. We don't need them. Cargo temps. There are up here. Uh, up here. So low. Put them to low like that. And then these guys press the arm. So on this panel right here. Open up these. Press them in till they get to normal. Like that. Then close it. And then auto start on. Wrong button. So the um, fuel is loading on. So now what we can do is since we press the zero button, we can set our IRS position. So we're going to go down to McDo. FMS, Act 1, position in it. We're at Anchorage. So P A N C. Put that in there. Grab this. Put that in there. So the IRSs are going to take 10 minutes, which is bad. Oh, let's turn off real time so it doesn't. So, yeah, the iris is going to take a bit of time. Hold on. Real limits. Ah. Can I not turn it off now? So, that. Sad. And here's another feature of this aircraft here. Ah, hold on. There's this here. So, there's this panel right here. Sometimes it's, it's really buggy. So it just gives you a selection of airports, like, let's do, like, um, JFK. That's not JFK, but okay. But this is just some airport. I don't know what it is, probably the next one. Alright, so now the plane is loaded, we can turn on our fuel pumps. There is no fuel in the center tank, so we can verify that by going to the fuel panel. No fuel in the center tank, so you won't turn on. And if you try to, and there's no fuel in the center pumps, it will say pressure right here. That means there's no fuel in there, which is normal for most flights. Fuel pumps, and all these anti-ice go to auto. Nav and local light on. Temperatures up here. Flight deck goes to auto, and then the car cabin tip goes to the middle position. Then, what we want to do is we can turn the resurrect fans. Packs, all of them auto. Tremere, auto. Bleed isolation, auto. AP bleeds and engine bleeds on. Pressurization, auto. Alright, for the S FMS. A lot of people find the S FMS on Boeing a bit. Okay, there you go. Real time's off. I think. Yes, let's go. So the RS is already aligned. So for the FMS, we're going to go down here. Make sure you already do this. The position. Go to route. Put in Anchorage. So for today's example flight, we're gonna go being, we're gonna go from Anchorage to Oakland. So K, 
O A K. We are flight number is FedEx F D X forty four twelve. Put that in there. And Sim Brief says our departure runway is gonna be zero seven right, so seven rights. Put that in runway. If you're on Vatsim, ask the controller for the um runway which you're gonna be using so you don't like set up on the wrong runway. So activate execute per, per, uh, performance in it. Perfect request. And then for the um, reserves, we take the number fuel on board, 29.9. This is in kilograms, by the way, times 1,000. Minus the number of fuel, the amount of fuel we'll be using for today's flight is 20.3. So 2.99, or 29.9 minus 20.3 equals 9.6. So we're going to go here, 9.6. Put that in reserves. And flight level, Simbrief says 410, but I'm going to use 360 because I think 410 is a bit high for this aircraft. So for 360. Cost index, Simbrief says it's 56, so we're going to put 56. Cost index. Thrust limit, we're going to put, let's see, 9, 9 in there. Takeoff, we're going to be using flaps 5. And then you want to press takeoff request so that will load the CG and the trim. Then click all the V speeds here. And to set the trim, you must have a button for the trim on here. And so it says the trim should be 5.75. So that's about right there. Okay, now for the departure and arrivals. For this route, it says that we have no departure, we're just going direct to a VOR. So in that case, we're gonna go to route, next page, and then put in our way out. Routes. I can't. I cannot get the company routes working because I don't know. This plane is a bit bugged. All right. So our first waypoint is TED, which is a VOR. So we put that in two. And then on our um, airway, Juliet eight zero four Romeo. Put that in there. Then MDO VOR. And then another airway, Bravo four five three. Put that in there. Then Boxer. R, there you go. And Direct Fot, F-O-T, that's another V-O-R. Direct. And then the last waypoint we got on arrival is Windsor. So W-N-D-S-R. Two, Direct. All right, now Execute. That will give you a warning about insignificant fuel. I don't know why, because this plane's dead bug. Alright, we're going to be on the Windsor 2 arrival. We already entered the transition. I like to do that. And we're using ILS runway 30. Because that's the only runway they use. They use the ILS 30 and runway 12. Because that's like the longest runway there. And all the other runways are really short. So execute route. Or leg, sorry. Alright, so there's a discontinuity, so grab this waypoint, put that in there, execute. And the vectors. I like to keep the vectors on if you're online flying on Batsum or Pod Edge or something. Uh, I recommend keeping the vectors in, but if you're not, you can just vector yourself. So we're just going to clear the vectors and the purpose of this tutorial. So just clear it out by putting the next waypoint in the vectors. So you are now done programming the FMC. And then, so what you want to do now is you want to go down here to the auto brake, put that RTO. That's very important. All right, altimeters. Let's see what the altimeter is, what X-Plane says it is. On VATSIM, there, if there's ATC, there'll be like an ATIS, so you, I recommend doing the ATIS instead of the, um, the default X-Plane weather since it's a bit outdated. All right, weather altimeter is 299 or 6. The way you say altimeter is with this thing right here. It will change this right here. So altimeter is 299 or 6. There you go. Got it set. It will automatically set it for both sides, so you're fine. And this one's impossible to set because then you have to like drag it and it's so sensitive. Alright, we're gonna put the auto throttles to arm. And we're gonna set our MCP. So in the IAS bug, you wanna put 144. This is what our rotation speed is. And for the uh, heading, 
I usually set the runway heading, but if you're on VATSIM, they'll, and you're not on an RNAV departure, they will put you on a heading. And so I usually just put the runway heading, because they usually say fly runway heading, clear for takeoff. Where's the airport parking thing? I forgot where it was. Right here. Okay, so 7 right is right here. The runway heading is 074. So, uh, wrong button. Let's set 074 in there. And then cruise altitude is 360. If you're flying on VATSIM, they'll give you an initial climb, which say was 5,000. Like that for the, so we're, we're flying offline today, and we're going to put it up to 360, which is, or 36,000, which is our cruising altitude. All right, once that's set there, go to flight directors on right there. MCP, set APU here, start, and then put the APU gen on. The APU which should take about a couple seconds to start, but it shouldn't take that long. So you already started. Now you can turn off an external power. And now we can remove our external power from here. So we're going to close the doors. GPUs. Fuel truck chocks all the, um, all the uh, ground surfaces. So, engine start checklist. Okay, so we are parked at a gate where we don't have to use a pushback, so we're just going to be taxiing straight forward. I am not going to taxi today because I, um, I'm, ah, it's too loud. Hold on. I'm just going to be doing a cold and dark startup. Just a cold and dark, so, uh, we're just going to start up the engines and t trade the taxi checklist and the before takeoff or start the ramp and then we'll just end the video from there. Alright, so to start the engines, you want to go up here and follow the engine checklist. So right engine right here, start, and then go to the engine page. If, and you see the N2 is rising up like that. It's coming up on 13. And once it's to 18, we're going to start it. So 18 right here, put up the fuel control to start. And it should, should it should be starting the engine. I cannot speak today. Yeah, there's the engine sound sounds again. This is the BSS sound pack. I will leave it in the description down below with also the what was it? The um what it was called? The texture mod. Highly recommend it. These are just the default text these are not the default textures. The default textures are really bad and I highly recommend the um what was it the uh <laughs> uh the texture pack and so um i didn't ever understand why the passenger auction was here maybe in case like an emergency you'd press it but i guess you don't need it okay so engine number two is about the all right so once that switches back to normal you start the left engine the or else the other engine so start let me go down there, and you see the N2 is rising. It's the same steps. So basically, it's same step, same steps for engine 1 and 2. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Put that up there. Oh. There you go. Okay. Now, after that engine is started, we'll go on with the uh, before after start checklist. And by the way, just to let you know, this is the fuel dump panel right here. If you're going to use it, you would put these up, put these on, arm, and then go all the way. It's all the way to like the right. That's how you do the fuel dumps. And if you're running out of fuel on the left side, you use the cross feed valves right here. That will transfer fuel from the other one to the left side. Alright, I think at engine number have both engines started. Alright, after start. Beacon on fuel um flight controls up, down, left, right. I don't have my rudder set up, so I won't do the rudders. Flight controls check that is set, put that back to the engine position. Taxi light right here. 
on APU off All right taxi taxi checklist flaps set five Flaps are set to five. Let's watch the flaps go down. It take a little bit. So, oh, I forgot to show you how to turn on the radios. So for the radios, you would go off, VHF left, and then that. That's how you turn on the radios. And if you want to do the first officers, off, right, right. Like that. Simple. Alright, so everything is set. And I guess uh, we could do the before takeoff checklist, but I'm not going to attack you to the runway. So for the before takeoff checklist, you do landing lights, turn off the taxi light, strobe, and then put the runway turn offs on. And then the transponder. Oh, I put that with the reversers. Uh, whoopsies. Whoops, I put that with the reversers, but um, it's fine. So, uh, transponder here, TRI. Okay, so I know you could barely hear me there because of the, uh, press reversers. How do I put them back in? There you go. They're back in. Alright, so if you use the reversers and you don't realize it, it'll take a bunch of fuel away. So flaps are set 5 and the before takeoff is complete. So... Yeah, this is going to conclude our tutorial today for the Flight Factor 777. I hope you guys enjoyed the first tutorial on this channel, and I hope to see you guys on the streams i be having. I realize we got the 62 subscribers, and I will be doing a 60 subscriber long haul, or like medium haul, but yeah, I'm going to find time to do that. Alright, see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.